your EFT guy here with another five minute emotional health tune up. Let's get to it. Today, we're going to focus on any fear or concern that you might be feeling right now after getting some news or just finding out about something that now has you worried. Please follow along and just repeat after me as we use our fingertips to gently tap on points that are located on our hands, face, and upper body. This is going to help calm our mind and body down and we will feel much more relaxed when we get done. Please change any of the words that I use to make them more specific to your situation, using your own words about how you are feeling right now and why will make this way more effective. When I say the word blank, that's the time that you need to say out loud that specific thing that has you concerned or fearful. It's important to give voice to the thing that has you worried. I'm going to be pausing to give you time to repeat what it is I say and do, but also to change any of the words to make this more specific for you. If you don't want to say I'm afraid and would rather say I'm worried or I'm concerned, then go ahead and say that. Make this resonate best for you. Also, if you can, try to see if you can identify where in your body you may feel this fear or worry. Maybe it's in your chest or your throat. Maybe it's in your stomach. Just see if you can locate where in the body you feel this fear. And if you don't feel it anywhere, that's okay. Now, go ahead and select the side of which hand that you want to begin tapping on. You can tap with your left or your right. It doesn't matter. I'm going to tap on the side of my right hand. So go ahead and start tapping. And I'm going to call out all the other tapping points that we will be using. And remember, when I say the word blank, that's when you need to introduce that specific thing that you are concerned about. Ready? Here we go. Even though I feel this fear, and it's because I just found out blank, and I'm feeling this fear in my chest. because this has me worried that blank. And I accept that that's how I'm feeling right now. And even though I do have this fear, because I just found out blank, and I'm feeling this fear in my chest, because this has me worried that blank. But I deeply and completely accept myself. And even though I do have this fear, because I just found out blank, and I'm feeling this fear in my chest, because I'm worried that this means blank. I deeply and completely accept myself. Now let's go to the top of the head. All this fear. Go to the inside eyebrow, feeling all this fear in my chest. Go to the outside eyebrow, this fear in my chest underneath the eye, feeling all this fear in my chest. Go underneath the nose, feeling this fear in my chest. Go above the chin, feeling all this fear in my chest. Go to your collarbone area, I feel all this fear in my chest. Four inches below either arm, all this fear in my chest. Now would be a really good time to take a sip of water or some other beverage because it's important to be hydrated when you do this kind of work. Now go ahead and check in with yourself and see if the intensity of the fear has gone down. If it has, that's great. That's what we're looking for. If the intensity of the fear has gone up, maybe it's because you're now tuning in to that specific thing that you're most concerned about.
Maybe you're worried that you can't make next month's rent. Maybe you're concerned that you're at risk of losing your job. Maybe you're worried that your partner is going to leave you. It could be any number of things, but the more specific you can be, the better. So when we go do this next round, introduce that specific thing that you are the most concerned about. Okay, let's go ahead and do another round and begin tapping on that side of the hand that you picked. Here we go. Even though I feel this fear, and it's because I just found out blank. And it really has me worried that blank. And I'm feeling this fear in my chest. However, if it moved to your throat or to a different part of your body, go ahead and use that part. And I deeply and completely accept myself. And even though I feel this fear, because I just found out blank, and I'm feeling this fear in my throat, because it really has me concerned that blank. I accept that that's how I'm feeling right now. And even though I do have this fear, because I just found out blank, and I'm feeling this fear in my throat, because it really has me worried that blank, I deeply and completely accept myself. And even though I feel this fear, because I just found out blank, And I'm feeling this fear in my throat. Because it really has me worried that blank. I accept that that's how I'm feeling right now. Now let's go to the top of the head. All this fear. Go to the inside of the eyebrow. Feeling all this fear. Outside of the eyebrow. I'm really worried that blank. Go underneath the eye, this fear. Below the nose, feeling all of this fear in my throat. Above the chin, all this fear in my throat. Collarbone point. I'm afraid. Underneath the arm, four inches feeling all this fear in my throat. Hopefully, by now, you are feeling far less concerned or worried about whatever it was that you were thinking about just a few minutes ago. But if you need to, go ahead and do another round or two on your own, and that will help to bring the intensity down even further, and you will feel more relaxed. If you would like to learn more about EFT and how it works, or you would like to work one-on-one -on -one with me, check out my website, youreftguy.com. That's it for today. I'll see you in the next video.